So on the wire that plugs into the wideband, you'll have everything going to it, obviously. And then you'll have your outputs right too. These are your outputs and the instructions they'll tell you too. But on mine, it's yellow and black and white. Black and white's the ground. Yellow is the signal output that will go to HP tuners. Mine's set up for the old cable, but yellow goes into channel one and I have it linked. So channel one and two both log. And then the ground goes to the ground spot. On ProLink for the three and two MVPIs will be a little different because they don't have as many channels or outputs. This obviously goes to the O2 sensor. This is how I pick up power and ground on cars I'm just temporary tuning on. Fusible link. I this my cable I think is like eight foot long, but it's still long enough to do all the trucks. If you don't have a rear O2 bung you can put it in, then just slap it in the tailpipe with these. Make sure this is tight because this will come loose and it'll fly off the car. So to add the channel, this is going to be for the original MVPI Pro, the OG1 cable. Add channel, go down, Pro, click whichever inputs it's in. Once you got the input, then go transform. We want to log EQ. If you don't know if you have the wide or the normal, you probably have the normal. Wide's going to be for like methanol cars, like straight methanol, which you're probably not doing with HP tuners. And that's how you do this with the uh, original HP tuners cable. And now I'll add how to do it with the 2 and 3 ProLink.